Yeah, this is a quickie. Just had a quick thought, basically. Watching the world's largest pyramid hidden in plain sight. I'm thinking, the shape of them, no matter where they are situated in the world, alright? If you can imagine all the pyramids around the world. Yeah? In the days of trying to manipulate the weather. Or divert the weather. Because there's a hill. It's got made me think of this, in Akateri village. Yeah? And you used to be able to stand on the top of there on windy days and just watch these little tiny whirlwinds just start and off they go. And it's like it, that hill attracted a certain wind angle that just created little tiny whirlwinds, really. Right? Now, if you lived in an area whereupon the wind maybe needed diverted because it's too strong or something like that, to be able to settle down near a river in a valley or something, you need an extra hill just to pull the wind away, maybe. Yeah? Or if you lived in a place like Egypt and you needed the, 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 the bit of clouds or wind to start stirring in a different manner to attract maybe weather. You know, stuff like that, because that's all they could do or think about to be able to pull that weather down. Or create some sort of whirlwind type of weather effect to maybe start to rain. Try and suck it from the sky like the clouds come down, the weather comes down. But if you build something a bit high, it might just grasp onto it and pull some sort of weather down. For instance, yeah, the pyramids here on a flat plane. Back in the day when the weather was the weather, the way it was, to pull some sort of weather down from the sky, or some sort of connection, they did this as a format. So they aligned them to the stars and all the rest of it, to get its best situation for the weather back in the day to be pulled down a little bit, to then start off some sort of storm, or rain, or anything, to feed that area with water. Like this one here, you think, well, you know, there's a pyramid there, yeah? It's covered, the same as a pyramid. I right, probably even one there. Now, to have all these people living here, if them two things weren't built, then maybe the tornadoes would always come off and straight into a very, very vibrant area where it's rich with certain types of whatevers and positionings of the rivers elsewhere. And they build it there like that to divert it so it enables people to live here without getting their houses wrecked once or twice a year. And it just seems to just divert it away. Yeah? Things like that. But it doesn't need done today, because the weather slightly changed over hundreds of years anyway, thousands of years, that type of thing. But back in the day, yeah, if you could build something like that, wherever it was it needed, it was just to make it slightly different, pull down some rain or divert tornadoes or anything, so it spins off always that way, not this way. Yeah? But nobody's ever said anything like that. And I've watched, I've watched loads of these types of programmes over the years. You know, 55 now, like, so... I'm just saying, I've never heard of it, but I'm just thinking, yeah, if, if the weather started changing years ago and you thought, oh, it's getting a bit droughty knocking about, what can we do to save all this, our lives and area and all that sort of stuff? Otherwise you have to get up and move as a whole mass city type of place. And that would be just to build like a mountains or sort of an array of mountains that trigger off a cloud formation maybe. I mean, they're even doing it today with blinking all sorts of stuff trying to control the weather so that the people, it's been on their minds for years. Now, what would you rather do? Move a whole city, a whole city of thousands and thousands of people, yeah, which is a blinking difficult job within itself, don't get me wrong. Or get a few buds, you know, a thousand people, and build a little mountain that creates, as best they can, some sort of weather change. Like I say, it's just a thought.